welcome to the project demonstration of non-invasive glucometer based on IOT. So in this project we implemented the IOT technology. So in the previous versions we implemented the monitoring of glucose levels by using a non-invasive method through Bluetooth in the Bluetooth application. So here the difference between the Bluetooth and IOT is we can access the particular glucose level data from anywhere in the world by using this Blink application. So for that we need to provide the hotspots along with data to the system. So we'll discuss with that. So here the remaining connections are all are nearby same. So we have interface this uh, glucose sensor at A4 A5 pins and this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module at pin number 0 and 1 and this LCD module which is 16 by 2 model. So interface at pin number 2 to pin number 7 to the Arduino Uno board. So here uh, how we are going to calculate the glucose nothing but so here we are using the IR base with the high power array LED. So whenever uh, we actually we uh, tested this with n number of samples. So means those are the glucose levels different different glucose levels we took the samples from them and we have calculated the values and we calibrated them and so that we will get the bit accuracy in that one though it is a fluctuating values but it is nearby accuracy for the their glucose levels. So here uh, before on the kit, the first thing is we need to switch on the hotspot in our phone. So for that go to hotspot of your settings in your Android mobile phone and uh, change the hotspot name to project 5546. Sorry it is 5542. So not the 5546. So PRO JECT four two. And password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 GHz. So these three are the very important. Before on the cage and before on the hotspot, check these settings twice. As I'm repeating, PRO JECT5542 without any space, without any capital letter. And password should be 129. So enable the hotspots and enable the data. So after enable the hotspot, so you can see. Uh, this device is offline that's why there is a red box on this icon so now you can on the power supply once you on the power supply you can see the one device was connected in your mobile phone so connect the adapter to that and now on the power supply to the system so then there will be a welcome message on the LCD screen so you can see that the device is online now right okay And I will just insert a finger, so clean your finger without any dust so that we will get the bit accuracy values instead of the fluctuating values. So it will take maximum 5 to 10 seconds, right. So we have set the limit also here, so when I am the, moving the finger, so the values fluctuates and they won't stand by. So now we set the limit for if the glucose levels is 150 above then you will get the alert notification in your mobile phone and if it is below the 60 then you will get the alert notification. So here the readings are mg per so milligrams per deciliter. So I am trying to give the malfunction to the sensor to make the alerts. Actually it won't happen that much easily but I am trying from my end. Those who have the high glucose levels, you can uh, test it with them so that we will get the alert notification in our Blink application. Right. Mm -hmm. So, as you get the notification of alerts, high mm -hmm. blood glucose levels. Till you insert the finger again, so it's keep on alerting with the same reading. Means it mm -hmm. locked there. Right. Right, now it has come down to normal. 
So in this manner, we are going to get the glucose levels of a person those have this device. Right.